Welcome to the main screen of the Jones Encyclopedia, your guide to the information infrastructure. This is the first screen you see whenever you start the program. You can stop this guided tour at any time by clicking the mouse button. After the tour is over, you can access the program's features by using your mouse to click on any of the objects on the screen. The three triangular buttons in the center of the screen give you access to hundreds of articles, pictures, and movie clips about the fascinating world of information technology. Click on the Industries button to learn about the different technologies used for information exchange. Click on the Applications button to see how those technologies are being used. And click on the Timeline button to get an historical overview of the innovations that have contributed to the development of the Information Superhighway. The four buttons in the upper right corner are always visible. The Path button enables you to jump to any screen in the encyclopedia. Clicking on the Exit button will give you the option to exit the program and close the encyclopedia. Clicking on the Toolbox brings up some very useful options. You can print an article you're reading, or you can search all of the articles on the CD for entries that contain a particular word. Click on the question mark at any time to get help. The Index button is also visible on every screen. Click here to search for information by subject or to see a complete list of all of the articles in the encyclopedia. Whenever you see the Tour button, you can click on it to activate a guided tour through all of the functions on that screen. As you travel through the Jones Encyclopedia, landmark objects appear at the top of the screen to indicate the path you have traveled. Clicking on these icons allows you to return to a previous screen. For example, whenever you want to return to the main program menu, just click on this symbol. This is one frame from a film that documents one of the historic moments in computer science. It shows a mouse being used for the first time. Douglas Engelbart invented the mouse and many other elements of modern computing that we all take for granted today. On this day, back in December of 1968, he demonstrated the mouse, the computer workstation, hyperlinking, and live video conferencing.
Remember seeing your first game of Pong? Atari in 1972 created the first arcade video game that took the world by storm. This simple concept launched a billion dollar industry. Currently, Atari has re-entered the home video game market with Jaguar, which offers sophisticated 3D graphics and high quality sound. Your introduction to apartment living in the next century starts at the front door. That's where a closed circuit TV tells residents who's ringing their bell. Apartment 2000 also offers voice and fingerprint recognition. It's part of GE Capital Rescom's new single source telephone, cable information, and security service for apartment living. In the kitchen, you'll be able to use uniform price codes to keep track of grocery supplies, even sending your grocery list to the store via computer. At these specially equipped apartments, professionals who need to be in close contact with their offices can save time, money, and even lives through the computer link-up available at home. Cellular signals travel on FM radio waves. When a call is made, the signal is transmitted to a tower at the nearest cell site and is relayed to a mobile telephone switching office which connects to the public switch telephone network, finally ringing the phone at the other end. And it all happens in seconds. Now, the host of What's New America, Nancy Nelson. How would you like to eat all your favorite foods and still lose weight simply by changing the type of cookware you use? Are you tired of that cookware that peels and chips and cracks after just a few months? I know I am.
The fax machine has revolutionized the modern workplace. It enables documents to be sent across the country or around the world without any more effort than is required to dial a telephone. This nearly instantaneous method of delivering documents has made today's office more efficient. Future advances in digital communication technologies promise to increase the speed and quality of fax transmissions. Welcome to Diamond Eat Day and the last four hours of Diamond Eat Day. I'm Kathy Levin and this has been such a special day. Everyone's been very excited. New products, lots of different styles. Wait till you see what we have. You know the diva of Diamonique demands new things, new, new, big and bold. I have five carrots, I have new four carrots. Wait till you see our rolling rings that you've asked for. We have viewers' requests. I have some simulated emerald in a saddle cut. I have a gorgeous new slider pendant and a sterling silver special request bracelet, the slider bracelet. So let's take a look at some of the items, starting with the Euro wires. These may in fact sell out. These are J17747, and this is your two carat total Euro wire earring. Dig our pay per view menu. We got heroes, we got hams, we got tarts and cream puffs. Pay per view. Big stars, low prices, no waiting. Order tonight. Online and interactive services promise to make access to health care easier for patients and more efficient for doctors. Using this interactive system, people can utilize online databases to make a self-diagnosis from home or establish video calls with 911 to receive emergency instructions. Rural doctors can use an interactive system to coordinate with urban trauma care centers. Patient records and even x-rays can be instantly sent to remote doctors for analysis and advice. Though small enough to slip into a wallet, smart cards carry a microprocessor and memory chip making them useful for a number of different applications. Many kilometers, perhaps hundreds of kilometers away, at the Indian hospital in cells, a physician monitors the examination by a two-way camera, voice, and data system. A central microwave station, located on the reservation, serves as a relay between the mobile health unit and the hospital base. The physician is able to control the camera while he and the medic discuss the examination. It also gives the patient a chance to talk directly to the doctor to describe a specific ailment. This Meeting Max video care system consists of a room camera, which sends my image to another location, monitors, which display the images that I'm sending and receiving, and inside the cabinet, a codec, or video modem, which compresses and decompresses the video signal so it can travel over standard digital telephone lines. To establish the two-way audio and video connection, all I have to do is dial a few numbers on the keypad. 
just like making a phone call. Hello, Dr. Preston. How are you today? I am fine, Kay. This is no routine checkup. And now we can go to the left sternal border. The stethoscope is electronic, and the specialist and patient are 130 miles apart. But it could be 13,000 miles. This is telemedicine, developed by the Medical College of Georgia in Augusta. With telemedicine, no longer will where you live keep you from quality medical care. Virtual reality is an idea that dates back to the 60s and will be commonplace by the next decade. Already, it has been used during the Gulf War to train tank commanders and soldiers. The American bobsled team honed their skills for the Olympics with a form of virtual reality. And the Japanese have developed a system that allows architects to walk clients through a virtual building before it's constructed. By strapping on 3D visual display goggles and specially censored gloves, one can be immersed into new worlds. What is unique about virtual reality is that the user has complete control over the environment. Head or body movements translate directly into the way a simulated Martian landscape is seen. What new services can you expect from cable TV? One project is to bring a video store to the home. Video On Demand will give you access to all available movie titles anytime instantaneously. Think about it. No disappointment when your movie is not in stock. No last minute trips to the video store. No hassles with returns. No overdue charges. Simply put, Video On Demand will give you a video store in your own home at no more cost than you are paying for video cassette rentals now. It's not like any other game that I've ever played before. Never. The game is Nintendo's Donkey Kong Country, and it's the world's first fully computer-rendered home video game. Using the existing 16-bit Super NES, Nintendo has created an incredible 3D look, never seen before in home video games. The look is, uh, it's a product of something we call advanced computer modeling. So we've in fact taken each of the characters, created models within the computer, and over that, we've laid all kinds of animated polygons to give them texture and different feels and looks. And we can then spin and rotate them as they move through that over 100 levels of gameplay. Five years ago, just over a million personal computer owners used interactive services. Today, the number has jumped to 5 million. Often called the information superhighway, these services enable consumers to communicate and interact online. Today, with just a few keystrokes, you can find out how many mystery movies are on TV this week. Or order flowers by choosing your selection directly from the screen. And online systems are invaluable to students, investors, and business people. So if you're a consumer with a thirst for any kind of knowledge, Now's the time to get online.
MEU is your education connection to programs and services. All kinds of education. We deliver courses to you by cable television and videotape. It's called distance education. It means you can learn in your home on your schedule. If you don't necessarily want a degree, you can take all kinds of courses for fun and personal enrichment. And you can earn certificates. These prove your proficiency in the subject you've studied. Today's Jason project is also an exploration, but the treasure is knowledge about our planet, and thousands of kids like you and me can go along. All of these findings are captured with video cameras and other research equipment, and then uplinked to satellites in outer space that retransmit the data to Earth. All of the research equipment that scientists have with them are linked or networked so that they can communicate with students at special sites around the world. These are called primary interactive network sites. These sites are places like universities, museums, and research facilities. Together they form the JSON network. The Iowa Distance Learning Network joins teachers and students hundreds of miles apart. The best teachers interacting in real time with eager scientists, budding linguists, and young writers across 99 counties, equalizing educational opportunity and improving classroom performance. MEU's role is to connect you with top-notch educational institutions. Our technology is the link between you and education. Knowledge is portable, it's pliable, it flies through the air. You can learn in different places, in different times, in different uh, ways, and you can learn all throughout your life. And so what we are trying to do is to take modern communications technology teachers and students and put them together in new places, in new ways. Traveling at the speed of light in packets of energy, radiation vibrates in waves. The electromagnetic spectrum classifies this wide range of electromagnetic waves using their wavelengths and frequencies. Although this spectrum is continuous, it has been divided into seven categories for easier identification. The categories are radio, microwave, infrared, visible, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. Each type of radiation has its own melody in the overall symphony of the universe. On one end of the electromagnetic spectrum, radio waves have longer wavelengths and are less energetic. Radio waves are used for communication usually in the form of radio and television broadcasts. Microwaves have shorter wavelengths and are used for cooking, communications links like live newscasts, and for radar. Although infrared rays can't be seen, they can be felt. You can feel infrared rays as heat from the sun or a heat lamp.
Technicians make last-minute adjustments for the world's first demonstration of the telephone of tomorrow at the Western Electronics Convention in San Francisco. It's the often forecast video phone. How does it work? Just lift the receiver and you see your own image. Then dial your number just as with an obsolete old 55 model phone. And when your party answers, there he is, almost as big as life on the 10-inch video screen. This hookup would cost $5,000 per phone today. So until the price comes down, the video phone remains the phone of the future. See you then, good looking. Tyrus 1 produces almost 23,000 pictures of Earth's weather. This Tyros 1 experimental weather satellite provides dramatic pictures of cloud formations, including spiral formations associated with large area storms. Tyros 1 works in a useful manner for 78 days. It's the world's first successful weather satellite. And ever since then, weather satellites help in weather prediction. save lives and property through storm detection. Less than a month after the first Sputnik, the Russians launch a second Sputnik, which weighs about a half a ton and carries a dog as a passenger. In its infancy, cable brought television to those who couldn't receive it. In the towns of Astoria, Oregon, and Mahanoy City, Pennsylvania, the high surrounding mountains made television reception nearly impossible. But a group of enterprising engineers found a solution. They built antennas on top of the highest mountains and ran a cable from these antennas into the homes. What at first looked like this became crystal clear. U.S. West is delivering the future today with GoTV, an interactive television service that combines the power of entertainment with the power of interactive media. Using a television, a remote control, and a set-top box, viewers will have access to entertainment information 24 hours a day. With GoTV, viewers can make informed decisions about movies, restaurants, concerts, sporting events, and attractions in their local community, all at the touch of a button on their remote control.
Early optical fibers required signal amplification every eight kilometers. This was a significant improvement over copper or coaxial cables, where signal regeneration was needed every two kilometers. Today, optical fiber systems operate at 100 kilometers or more without signal regeneration. For many years, scientists recognized that glass could be an ideal transmission medium. The challenge was developing a glass that could transmit light over long distances with low signal loss. Back in 1970, Corning scientists achieved that breakthrough, reaching the important threshold of 1% light retention over one kilometer of fiber, making optical communications a commercially viable reality. The first stage of fiber manufacture is laydown or deposition. Using a patented process called outside vapor deposition, ultra pure chemicals are flame deposited in the form of a fine white soot on a rotating rod. These layers of soot are built up to create a preform. Next, the glass preform is placed in a consolidation furnace. Using balanced computer controlled temperatures, hot gases pass through the porous preform. This high temperature process transforms the consistency of the preform from a powder to a solid, dense glass of remarkable clarity and purity. During the draw, the preform is lowered into a furnace. The tip is heated, causing a gob of hot glass to descend. This is the beginning of an optical fiber. The gob is removed and the fiber strand is threaded through a tractor assembly. Throughout the draw process, systems are in place to control fiber diameter. It's a technology that was considered too complicated not very long ago, but now everyday PC users are surfing the internet at the rate of more than 10,000 a day. The reason? It's gotten easier. One of the online services is now offering easy access to the World Wide Web. PC users no longer have to memorize endless lists of internet addresses. Prodigy has developed a system where you just point and click and you're on the World Wide Web. And from there, you can go to popular web sites, such as Gifts and Flowers, Legislative Information, Columbia University, Internet Artists Colonies, NASA, and Theater. This hot list feature lets you save favorite spots. And with the online services as a stepping stone, more Americans than ever before may be taking the plunge and surfing the net. Another area which has benefited from artificial intelligence capabilities is the advancement of robotics technology. On Freedom, astronauts will use robots for a variety of jobs, such as construction and maintenance. You've just mouse clicked from a shopping mall into the first broadband implementation of an online tower record store. So come on, take the ride to Tower. Uh -oh. Welcome to Tower Online. Looking for something specific? Hit the Quick Shop button if you know what you want.
This Tower eShop works like a tower retail store. We see and hear the latest videos and CDs. Music is organized by department, and there's a shopping assistant available to find the products I want. Shopping with eShop is both convenient and fast. The Quick Shop feature is available in all electronic shops. It lets you quickly find what you want, even when there are tens of thousands of products to choose from. Thank you.